Hello, uh, this is Nelly, and I'm going to walk you through the uh, Moodle for Teachers Evo 2012 Sandbox for the workshop, and this is where the fun begins. Okay, so, so far you've been responding to uh, the discussion forums and to each other and helping each other, and I think that's um, very important. In learning by helping others, we actually help ourselves. So let's get started to um, start the sandbox in week two. Okay, so uh, let's go down to the sandbox. Okay, this is um, week one. Okay, from the teacher's point of view, notice there are lots of edits. Okay, this is what the teachers see. You don't see this. Okay, so um, you'll get used to it once you're in the sandbox because you're all going to be teachers. You see the hidden things? You don't see that. Only the teachers who have uh, editing rights will be able to see it. So here's the sandbox where you're going to have lots of moodling fun. Okay, so here we are. Let me turn off the editing. This is how it'll appear when you come in. Okay, so here are the instructions. This is your sandbox to explore and practice what you learn in the Moodle for Teachers 2012 EVO workshop. You've been given teacher right and the role, so you will view the Moodle from a teacher's perspective with the opportunity to add content and engage students in using the resources and activities. So to begin, please click on Edit, and the Edit is on the right-hand corner of the page. Okay, so here is the Edit button. Access one of the sessions that is available, write your name, and on top and save. Now it's not uh, one of the sessions, it's one of the sections. I'm going to edit that and uh, change it. So let's first turn on editing on because even I can't edit unless I do that. So let's start with my first edit. Okay, there's a mistake here. It should be one of the sections and not sessions. So sec shins that is available. So let me get that corrected. Okay, now here are the sections. Okay, and they're going by 5, 10 by 5s. And uh, where do I get the sections? I get them in the blocks. Okay, there are lots of blocks here or modules. Here's the WizIQ class and I wanted to show it to you because I hope you'll get a chance uh, to see the new format Okay, so this is how you create a WizIQ Live class for yourself. And these are some of the others that you can play around with. Let's go back to the sections. I'm going to click on Edit. See, each section also had edits, and I want to increase by 1, not by 5. Okay, alternative increase by 5. I prefer the 1. Okay, save changes. Number of sections we have uh, currently, let's see, for the year, 52. We're going to have to increase that since um, there are about 160 participants. Okay, as you can see, it's still by default. I guess it's five right now. So. I'm going to delete that and start all over again because sometimes that's the only way to do it. So this is where I find the sections. Okay, you don't see it here. It should go by alphabetical order. So let me um, refresh the page. Okay, open the blocks and section links. Okay, here they are. Now the classes can be divided into topics, dates, or like right now we're dividing them by your names. You may want to join in teams. We'll see what we're going to do. We might 
have another sandbox. We want to add only those, I mean, we want those who are very actively involved to continue, and those that are not, the lurkers, I don't think that they should be given a sandbox space since they won't um, join anyways. Okay, so right now, uh, let's see, it's right here, and it's again by five. Hmm, let's see what we can do with that. Oh, it's back to default. Isn't that interesting? Five again. Let's save, save the changes and see if we get a change. Ah, definitely. All right, now notice how I'm going to move it. Okay, can you see that? Yes. You can move all the blocks. Okay, these are called blocks. You can see that it's a block. You can move all the blocks left to right, not to the center. Left to right. Okay. If you want to, you can try in the center, but it won't work. Okay, so play around and uh, you can move them and make life easy. I prefer this one. Okay. All right. So if it doesn't work for you, keep trying. Okay, I like the forms here. I don't know why I have, um, we all have our ways. Okay, administration, I'm going to put here. We don't really need it in front of our face. Online users, and that's it. All right, so let's start. Okay, so this is section one, and it says, please delete this message and write your first and last names. Okay, so I would like you to write your name and then copy it. And how are you going to copy? Because I want to get the um, smiley as well. So I'm going to go into, notice here, HTML, toggle HTML. And then I'm going to copy this. This is the HTML. And when you embed codes for videos, this will come in very handy. So I'll copy. Okay, uh, I can save or. So when you write your name, go on to the next one and please add it. So again, I'm going to go into, if you hover your mouse over these, you'll get what they are. Okay, so I'm going to go into this mode. It's the HTML mode. Add, save, and this is what I get. All right, so how do we get started? All right, so leave the first section unless you want to add something to the first. This is called the pre section. And then I'm going to go into resources. These are all the resources that you can add. Notice there's also Sloodle, which is Second Life. Some of these will not work for you. Don't worry about it. Use the ones that we've been using in the class. So it's label, compose a text page, web page. Just try them out. Nothing can go wrong if you try them out. Either it will work or it won't. So resources and activities. Okay, uploading files. Uh, certificate, you might want to play around with that. It's really nice. Choice, we'll be talking about that. Glossary forms are very important to use them. And then there are other things you might want to try. And WizIQ Live Class, I suggest you try that one. And when you do, okay, let's see what's happening. I clicked on it. Don't forget, I'm in edit mode. Otherwise, now I'm not going to go into site event, not into user. I'm going to go course event. Otherwise, it won't work for you. Course event, click on OK. Add the title, date. You can get the date here. Okay, decide on the date. And then the time. Okay, the time right now is America, Toronto, Eastern Standard Time. You can change it, so you'll have to go by it. You might want to go to a time converter and find out the time zone there. This is a duration, the time. Audio and video, not just audio, leave it here. And you want to record, yes. You schedule a class, you can always delete it. Okay, don't forget, whatever you do can always be deleted. I suggest you check in with the settings, the administrators. You can look at it. I don't recommend changing things, but if you do, I'll just change them right back. A lot of work, but okay. This is a sandbox. Okay, participants, you get a chance to see everybody. Activities will come through once you start creating them. You'll have a list of activities. 
And here's our huge section, A50 sections. All right, so have fun. That's what it's all about. Remember, if you want to embed anything, you go into, for example, here in the label, you go into the, okay, here it is again, toggle HTML source and save. So have fun, enjoy, and help each other because that's the best way to learn.